Welcome back everyone, CapKG here along with Caleb, and we are back to continue with some more of The Mandalorian. Today we're going to be watching and reacting to episode 6, uh, called The Prisoner. So I'm really excited to keep watching this, uh, this has been a lot of fun. I think the stuff they're doing with The Mandalorian and what it's been doing for Star Wars Universe has been really great. Especially when we've had what I feel are less than adequate movies, especially for the last two. So it's been nice to see something like this. Um, last time we were on Tatooine, right? That was the yeah. Tatooine episode. Yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of nostalgia, a lot of just like calls back to um, both the prequels and the original trilogy, which was really cool. And I really enjoyed that. Um, what about your thoughts, Caleb, before we jump to this one? Uh, I, thought, I thought it was great because we got, like I said, Tatooine. The nostalgia for that was really cool, too. Um, the little desert area. And then we got a guy trying to start out as a bounty hunter. Yep. You know? And then we had the prisoner, or the, not the prisoner, the uh, mercenary chick. Mm -hmm. or whatever and then uh, i forgot her name already which is really sad I, i'm not good with names i realized <laughs> but we have her and then you know we had the whole ordeal across the dunes and things like that and it was really cool with their night fight and scene so that was like a really unique take on it too it was like you know more of trying to be strategic with their attack against her so it was pretty fun to watch for sure um it was kind of in a lot of way i think we said the one episode that was very much like disconnected from the others Right, I think we mentioned that. I can't remember if that was on camera or off camera. But, uh, because even episode four felt a little more linear-esque. Like, I get that these episodes aren't really linear. They're kind of like individual adventures and stories that he goes on in the grand scheme of trying to keep Baby Yoda safe and away from everyone. So, like, we get, we understand how the show works. Just saying that that one felt the most, like, I don't know, separated from the other episodes so far, right? Yeah, no, yeah, I, I agree. We agreed with that too, because it was just like, we're on our way to trying to keep the baby safe. We pick a random pit stop. Okay, well, while you're at a pit stop, we gotta have you do something. Take on this mercenary yeah. who you still don't know who, what her objective is or why they're trying to capture her exactly. Besides her being a mercenary, oh, she's gonna come back later on too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So, episode six, uh, the prisoner. Anything you want to say before we jump in? I'm just excited to jump in and check it out. I'm really hoping that Mando does get caught in this episode or something funny like that, just because it's called The Prisoner, and then we have to do like a whole prison breakout and fighting thing in space. That'd be fun. It'd be like Guardians of the Galaxy. So. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see if you're right. Let's go ahead and jump into episode six. I eat. I wonder if he's... Uh... Just needs like additional repairs. And that's why he's here, or is something else is bringing him here. I mean, maybe this guy like hears a lot of gossip and knows where maybe the Yoda could be put. Man, I have no uh, idea. Oh, he is meeting somebody. Okay. <laughs> yeah, one of our oh. Uh, ran afoul of some he's taking on more work. Got himself caught. So I'm putting together a crew to spring him. That's the prisoner. Five person yeah. job. I got four. All I need. Ride. Oh, he's gonna work on a team. Mm. Uh, Imperial. Ooh. Was it a stormtrooper wise ass? <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is hearing's pretty good. I love how that shot was at the stormtroopers. Yeah, I know, right? That was good. <laughs> Burke. Where's the good looking part? I missed it, right? <laughs> that was the joke. <laughs> He looks like, um, was it Hellboy? This is yeah. Mandalorian. Oh. Hello, Mando. Shia. Oh. She Oh. Why I shouldn't cut you down, you oh, they have history. Yeah. Nice to see you too. Don't worry, Mandalorian. My response time is quicker than organics, and I'm smarter too. All right. I, yeah, that's good. <laughs> he blames the programming. <laughs> How can you trust it? You know me, man. I don't trust anybody. <laughs> Poor man, though, he can't even like object to any of this. And no, it's like no once he got in here, he else. was he was invested in this mission, or not invested, but like he was gonna do it. Yeah, he gotta do something for the mission, but he's like, I don't want that kind of heat. Which I get it. I wouldn't either. Okay, so where is Baby Yoda though? Are they about to find him? Oh no. Oh, they found all the guns. 
<laughs> He's yeah, excited about that. So easy to open, though. Oh, there's the baby. Uh Lonely up here, buddy? Huh? Wait a minute. Did you two make that? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Maybe that code of yours has made you soft. I don't like how like seductive she's being. Yeah, I really don't either. Creeping like, chill, me out. Chill, you need to chill out. You know? I mean, I tried, but it never worked out. <laughs> but I'm thinking. Oh. oh, oh, oh. This guy's asking to be punched in the face. Oh no, dude, just kill it. He's lucky he can't kill him all. Thanks for the warning, bro. <laughs> he did warn him. Ah, you know what I mean. Shut up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now. <laughs> oh. God. Yo. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's pretty cool. Huh? The droid is handy, though. Yeah, that's true. Until it betrays them or something. Right. That guy's look. Yeah, that was that's a bit weird for me. Oh, okay, it got even weirder pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bert, what are you doing? What? Well, I'm sure they heard that. Oh. Oh, Bert, you idiot. Seriously. You knew he'd do something badass, but... <laughs> Oh, yo, man. Oh, okay, yep. <laughs> that armor, though, man. Right? He's lucky they're always hitting that. Oh, damn. I, I, those guys just gonna stand there and just watch? I mean, they can help. I guess they need to see how good he is, apparently, but... Look, at, he's using their body parts. Oh, no. Oh. God! <laughs> this man. He's like, damn. It's a tracking beacon. If he presses that thing, we're all done. Oh, a new Great. Republic attack team will hone in on that signal. So, like, if he knew the help. ship was, like, under attack, why didn't he push that button already? Yes, right. You didn't think we need to know that doesn't make a lot oh, of sense. Because he just said it'll blow up. They'll just shoot it up to hell. Like, they're waiting for to do. They'll just blow it all up. You realize what you're going to bring down on us? You think I care about that? We're not killing Then why'd you freak out, stupid? Right? Put your, put your dick away, dude. <laughs> Seriously. Get that blaster out of my face, man! No! Don't. Oh. He pressed it. Yep, he pressed he it. He definitely pressed it. Just shut up. <laughs> oh, it's about time someone on the team did something besides Mando. Nice. <laughs> he gets the epic explosion too. Right? <laughs> God, it feels good to hit stuff. <laughs> yeah, bad. Was that part of the plan, or is that just something they decided to do? Oh. Okay, so you were right, he is also the prisoner now. So what is he hoping that he's the droid force, opens he's it? Gonna, just... He's gonna force it to open it on him. That's what he's gonna do. Oh, dang! Nope. What? what? Oh, is he gonna... Oh? Oh. Oh! Yep, we got the lights. Yep, yep. It. <laughs> and he, yep, close the door oh, on him. Yeah, Trap locked him. Down. They're all gonna die together. Go, go, go. He's gonna oh, force he's... them to go exactly where he wants them to go. Yeah. <laughs> go for the big guy first. He's stupid. <laughs> he's just the muscle. Yeah, this guy's not smart enough to figure this out, is he? Nope. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. He's about to pull. He's about to pull Mando down. Ooh, no oh, way. Look at that! Your hell reference came to life. <laughs> you right? <laughs> oh my god! Oh! I mean, he can't feel that because of the armor, but still the headache from that. Oh, he can feel that. For sure. <laughs> the Disney movie, right? Yeah, it's Disney. It went snap his Oh, <laughs> no way! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Just shoot her. Just shoot her. 
Oh. She's got a lot of those. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's so oh. sick. That's so sick. Right? That is so cool. Oh, my one more. She did it. <laughs> he was like, no, I can't lose. I'm the best. <laughs> Whatever I promised, I'll make sure you get it. Oh, this guy. I hate people like this. Right? Come on, man. Freaking. People like him do it, and people like Royals do it. And now I'd shoot him. Yeah. No, I would too. You're about to use the force? No, the force is coming. <laughs> I did that? <laughs> oh, okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> the way he's just like, wait, did I do that? I did that. Is he going to be surprised to see man? I know, he oh. kept him alive. Hey, you want the rest? Go back for him. <laughs> just like the good old days. Yeah, just like the good old days. He did not expect to see him back. Mm -mm. He's like, fuck. <laughs> but this guy apparently doesn't give a shit. Oh, what is that? <laughs> oh no! What's this? Oh! You didn't catch that? As soon as I heard the beeping, I'm like, oh shit. I thought he like put the bomb on him. Bastard. That is great. Never mind, I guess that is not um blow his honor. Blow it to hell. Ah uh, Yeah, my boy. Yeah. Ultimate justice. He just wrecked that space station. He whooped all your buds. I'm surprised Berg thing. didn't die in that. Oh yeah, it's true. He is alive, huh? I guess. Yeah. I guess it's the to make him knock out. I guess. So I told you it's Disney. So never mind. It's true. Take back what I. <laughs> no more thinking, Disney. I enjoyed that episode so flippin' much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty darn good episode. Pretty darn good episode. Um, very action packed. Which is nice uh, compared to some of the more slower pace well, we've had some action but more of a slower pace story throughout um this one like once they got into that mission pretty quickly and then it just kept going from there right no that was pretty cool too and just the way it's everything went from start to finish like you're like okay it's a prison break what's gonna happen the usual stuff nope like a whole bunch more happened <laughs> yeah so i mean them turning on him was predictable predictable um but also played out well enough to where like you had doubts long enough to whether they're actually going to go that direction right you know um i think to me yeah the one of the only disappointing things about i guess that whole story is that in the end all of them are still alive mm -hmm. uh, mostly because of bird because he definitely looked like he got his ass handed to him by those doors oh yeah, yeah not really that... sure how that one looked like that was a brutal way to end him so i don't I really know, know how that, that didn't been... happen <laughs> Like it, it would have if he died right there. It would have made sense he died. Like yeah. you see that you're not like, oh yeah, he lived for me. You see, you're like, I said, oh. Because <laughs> like I get like Mando doesn't want to um, take out innocent people or people who don't deserve it or anything of that sort, especially people who aren't part of his job or his mission and stuff. But I mean, when those assholes like turned on him and then tried to leave him on the prison ship and everything. Like, I felt like at that point he's pretty justified in I ending mean, them. So honestly, I, don't know. I, I like that he kept to his code, though. And I don't mean his yeah. Mandalorian code. I mean the code of the only person to die was the droid. Right. He no, really doesn't yeah. like droids. Yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> he spared nothing on that droid. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Everyone else lived. <laughs> Game. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not saying it's not consistent with the character. It absolutely was. Right, right. Uh, it's just personal preference oh yeah no point. those those guys were assassins they were kind of dicks they killed an innocent person so i would have killed them too but i mean and unfortunately we didn't see them die die but i feel like um the guy who made the deal and then kin were 
or it might come back later on too, along with everybody else. Cause, you well, think they, they survived that? I, I mean, there was they weren't confirmed dead. Like I didn't see like a Death Star kind of thing, you know. So <laughs> that's what I was expecting. I was like, okay, they're confirmed dead. So I don't know. <laughs> I would say those two are for sure. I think like dead. Um, I think the other three that we may see them either in a season two or in the finale or something come back. Yeah, uh, for that's something. What I- that's what I could see too. So, oh, I mean, we'll see because I mean they are technically en route to a prison colony, probably of some sorts. So who knows? <laughs> uh, that was good too. And then see, Baby Yoda trying to use the Force again. Yeah. That was that was a nice little highlight. We didn't get much of him, which I noticed we haven't had a lot of Baby Yoda in the past two episodes. I guess just to. I think part of it is they there isn't really anything that Baby Yoda can do. Right. Okay, aside from occasionally using the force, I think there could have been some cool moments of him like using force, like like some objects and like moving them around and maybe smacking the droid around. I was hoping for something like that, like so that Baby Yoda had its own like little fight or encounter or something, That'd be cool. um, rather than just kind of like the evasion thing that we did. But I don't. Maybe that's just something they need to work on developing for Baby Yoda as a character, um, and make it more gradual rather mm-hmm. than just throwing in there. Because I think we think of. Yoda, when we see Baby Yoda, we think right. of Yoda using the Force, but it definitely seems like Baby Yoda's still figuring it out, mm-hmm. and maybe even those times it does use the Force is a lot more instinctual or accidental, maybe even. <laughs> That's the impression I get, at least. Yeah, he, he was all like, I could do it again. He said, boom, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was a good moment. <laughs> so, yeah, Probably I mean, one of my highlight moments of this episode. Oh, so. yeah, that definitely was that, and then Mando taking on the droids, but I think out of, my favorite out of him taking everybody down was just Mayfield, just the lights disappearing and coming back on and off, and he was just walking towards <laughs> Yeah, them. that was such a cool scene. <laughs> that was really well done, the strobe-like effect thing. That right? Was cool. yeah. And it's just funny, because like, the main thing with Mayfield was like, from the beginning till just before he lost, he was all like, I'm the dude in charge, I'm the dude in charge, are you questioning me? At yeah. the very end, he screamed like a little girl, like, no, I'm about to lose! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good, too. Um... We did have the one innocent casualty of the uh, control room, I don't know, pilot or guard or whatever you want to call that guy. The poor man, imagine being on a prison ship like that and you're the only human. Right. For who knows how long that thing's been traveling through space. <laughs> so we're supposed to talk to these guys when we have coffee, like, how you do with that, you know, how's that oil yeah. going for you? <laughs> yeah. So I do wonder, like, why that ship is, uh, unless they mentioned it, we missed it, like, why that ship's just traveling through, like, basically on, like, a warp drive through space instead of using, like, a jump. Yeah, I don't know either. It's pretty, uh, it's not so... Unless it's intentional and, like, that's just what they do with their prisoners. Those guys are just basically stuck on a ship for forever. Right. And that's part of their prison sentence. I don't know. I may have missed that. I mean, either way, I'm excited for the next episode, but I'm not gonna lie. We've had about three stops mm-hmm. that didn't really have to do with baby yoda and everything like because the thing that sucks about these assassins was like it was they were finding out more about mando but then they were beaten before that so it's like yes they didn't even really get much information about that like it was a big thing like oh they're gonna know about mando what are they gonna do about it and then nothing yeah, that's a good point because w- <laughs> if you think about it from the perspective of the series what did we learn in this episode <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I kind of feel like nothing, right? We didn't really learn anything about Mando, um, other than we saw aspects of his character played out. But these are things like we already said; they are already consistent with this character that we've learned. So it wasn't necessarily anything new. Maybe. There was hints that we were going to possibly get something, but it never came to fruition yet. Right? Maybe it's more like a world development, like because we got the New Republic, which I completely True. forgot was like the people Anakin worked with and everything like that. So we got to see more of how like they work with their beacons and things like that. So maybe it's more like a not so much Mando himself over the situation, but more going going on like the New Republic. The New Republic was constantly talked about this episode. So maybe it's more just trying to build the world and yeah. who's out there. So <laughs> I can I can definitely see that. Uh, to me, that's a little weird because it's Star Wars, and I think right. Star Wars is a fairly well established universe of stuff. It's not like and you're not necessarily bringing in a ton of new people into universe to show that if you haven't seen it. I'm trying to compare a little bit to The Witcher in this sense because The Witcher is trying to establish lore about this world and story because mm-hmm. they're trying to bring in more than just the gamers and more than just the people who read the books. Right. Uh, so they're trying to bring in a whole new audience, whereas I don't think Star Wars is trying to do that. So 
I don't know if an episode devoted just to calling it that, oh, this was just for world building was necessary. But again, it all depends on what they do with sep- uh, the next two episodes uh, right. for this season and how many of these characters that we've seen are, come back in those finale episodes. Mm-hmm. And that we may look back on this episode and have a different perspective on it yeah. once we see those two. I mean, I mean, you know, there's also the fact that, too, like, maybe something we didn't see on, sc- uh, uh, on screen was maybe something Zero did with, like, setting out the transmission yeah. of the Mandalorian or something like that to everybody that's hunting for the baby. You know, he's like, I found information. He didn't get to share it, but he's like, I got something out at least, or, you know. <laughs> right. So, yeah, so th- there's potential there that we may just right. not be aware of. So, like I said, we might have to see the next two. So, the good news for us is that seven and eight and everything's already out because the show yeah. is over for the <laughs> season. So, we'll get to watch seven and eight on the same day it'll still be two separate videos for you guys but we'll get to watch them together so and i've been told that that that's a good thing for us <laughs> to be able to do that uh, i guess it's like a part one and part two for the finale so looking forward to that i'm really excited to record that and to watch those because i want to see how some of these stories start coming together as we wrap up season one same and, to, and you know, and really like what happens to set up a season two because that's already been confirmed that that's coming right uh, next fall or this this upcoming fall or whatever so you know what are they going to give us to set that up and where's the story going to go for that so yeah i'm yeah. curious i'm hoping the next two episodes are mainly about the those two baby yoda and mando and just more expansion on where he's probably trying to go where this is gonna go just at least some kind of hint now because again the past two even three you know we we got new characters i guess is the main thing you take from that but even the last episode like Two of them basically died, and we still don't know who the mercenary is. So that's that's still my least favorite episode. <laughs> yeah, but this one was pretty good. I enjoyed this one. Yeah, same. This one was, this really was a lot good. of fun, despite the <laughs> fact that we, you know, uh, it it again, like you kind of said, um, didn't really seem to do anything for the main story mm-hmm. or for the character development or anything here. But whatever, that's okay. Enjoyed it. Um, any other closing final thoughts? Uh, no, that, that's my thoughts. It's the next two. If we're watching them both in one day, I can't wait, and I'm excited to see where it goes. <laughs> for sure, for sure. All right, well, you guys let us know your thoughts down in the comments, and we'll catch you guys when we watch episode seven next time. So we'll see you guys then. Peace out.